Yes. So what is the prerequisite for installing MBO program? I cannot directly install these programs into the organization. There are certain prerequisites. For example, if you want to have a graduation to take, if you want to join into graduation, the prerequisite is intermediate. You need to clear the intermediate examination. Okay. So if you want to apply any job, the prerequisite, you must finish your graduation. That is what we call it as prerequisites. Okay. So the purpose of MBO should precisely defined and suitable techniques be emphasized or used. Means the purpose might be met. The purpose of should be precisely defined. It must be precise. Sorry, let me give it another color. It must be precisely defined. Precisely defined. It must be precisely defined. And suitable techniques must be used. must be emphasized, be emphasized and used. So as if why you are doing so purpose, why you join in MBA, if there is a purpose, you want to be a HR. So MBA is required, masters of masters is required. So that is your purpose. So you cannot join as a casual. It is there. It's there is a free seat. I just joined. It is not like such. There is a purpose of joining it. The next always you must have top sub, top management support. Means if I want to install any program, MBA, MBO program in my business, the top management is going to take a decision. Always they are going to take a decision. In the absence of top management, you cannot even install the new program. So the critical factor here determining the MBO program, success of MBO program is the support of the top management. So top management a take a decision. The next training for MBO. So where I have a program. So for example, I want to go with the uh, uh, industrial tour to the students for in, into a financial industry. You do not know even a BABC of finance. Then what is the use of taking you into in our uh, industrial tour of a tour to finance company? What is the use of it? So there must be required, some training is required. You are unable to understand if there is no training. So now I am giving training of what? What is managerial and organizational behavior? So without proper training, you are unable to understand. Take example of stats. Without proper training, you are not going to implement the algorithms. So for example, if you want to into IT, so without proper training, you cannot go for a job. You cannot work. Because the minimum training is required to understand what is MBO and how the MBO is being implemented in your organization. So the concept here is training must training with concepts, philosophy and a need for business. Training is try to understand what the concepts are required. What is the philosophy? Just a moment. Um, not comfortable with this type of writing. Yes, wait a minute. Concepts, philosophy, and need. Next, participation. Okay, so some people say I don't. We don't participate in this, and some people will accept yes participation. So what the participation is? Everyone must committed. Every individual, every group, every department must be committed to accept. So everyone's participation is required. Whether it's active participation or passive participation, but the active participation will focus more than passive participation. Active or passive participations. The next, feedback for self-direction and self-control. The feedback. What is the feedback? Yes, whenever you are trying to introduce a program. Okay, so you are directing it, controlling individual. The feedback is whether in what cases you are doing good, in what which case you are not unable to meet the requirements. So that is feedback is necessary. So directing, self-directing and self-controlling. 
feedback is necessary in the form of periodic counseling and appraisal so periodic counseling once i am repeating the term periodic means continuous counseling required and and we must be able to identify the problem where exactly the problem so identification of the problem is done through the feedbacks then next the last point last point of uh, the prerequisites other factors what are the other factors related there are so many factors which are related under other factors we just talk about implementing mbo at the lower level how it is going to affect the lower level next mbo salary taking a salary decisions the next the last point how we are able to conflict with objectives whether it is going to conflict with the objectives or not we are going through this is what we talk about so then next always we cannot think we cannot think the things are benefiting or damaging benefits uh, positiveness and negative positive behavior and negative means limitations benefits and limitations so the benefits of mbo better managing means they are able to focus mainly on better managing means they can manage very well because we have policies if we have guidelines then everyone can follow these guidelines so better management it helps in performance improvement of performance how the clarity of objectiveness okay let me write down a small points clarity of objectives next role what this my role i can specifically know next periodic feedback how we know the periodics periodically and participation by managers yes these are things coming under better managing the next clarity of organizational action so as we said key result result area the key result area clarity of organizational action the mbo tends to provide key result areas where organizational efforts are needed so organizational objectives are designed with clarity or designed always clearly so they relate with organization key a result areas the next personal satisfaction it is a greatest opportunity to have a personal satisfaction personal satisfaction because it is a phenomenal in a setting object or setting objective settings and relational performance appraisal individuals will always enjoy the authority and they derive to satisfaction levels so personal satisfaction is more important and we have rewards and at the same time the personal satisfaction is appraised we got appraisals and what about basic organizational change the last point basic organizational change yes with proper guidelines with a good implementation of m b o then the organizational professional structure will change it upgrade itself it provides a good framework and guidelines for planned change enable top management to initiate and there might be depend on internal and external factors so process of change it enable the organization to upgrade to the next level the next the last point for today its limitations okay so the under the limitations we talk about yes anything if you want to install it needs money it needs money time and cost so i need to give proper training to the people to training to the employees training to staff it is required without that they couldn't understand how the things will work so amount of resources if it requires resources large amount of scarce resources and some people some people frustrate 
Next, some people feel overburdened. Already we are hectic with the job. See, we cannot always think with the one perspective. You need to think always at the complete. We cannot think only one side. We cannot take a decision depends on only one side. So yes, there are people because if the people are overburdened, if you are increasing, for example, example, if uh, if you are working in an organization, the salaries are pending for two months and still you are burdened with uh, more responsibilities, more job, then you definitely get frustrated. The company might not think in a pro in a in one direction. They keep on saying you work. They exploit the exploitation. So feature next point the feature to teach MBO philosophy failure sorry failure to teach MBO philosophy means it's a new innovation people might not accept means it is under practical it is not been perfectly implemented or standardized so that standardization if you are coming or taking those policies into your organization there might be chances of failures. So it's a new way. So manager can fail to understand and appreciate this new approach. Can fail to understand and cannot appreciate. No appreciation. Cannot appreciate. It, 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 if he doesn't understand, what is there in that? It, if he doesn't understand, how can he work according to the given instructions? The next, problems in objective settings. The MBO requires objectives, verifiable objectives against the performance. Objectives versus performance. So the objectives are more in the form of a statement rather than quantitative form. They are in performance or objectives in not in quantitative form. It is only in the form of statement. The next point, emphasis on short-term objectives. What is meant by short-term objective and what is meant by long-term objective? Objective which is meant a small period of time. So here the MBO is tendency to emphasize on short-term objectives, usually for a year or less. They help in performance appraisal, but there is always a danger in emphasizing short-term objectives. When compared to long-term objectives. So, emphasis mostly on short-term objectives. So, what about the long-term objectives? They don't have any policies related to long-term objectives. So, so total concentration is short term and short term and short term. So what about a long term goal? It must be worked on that. Because the long term objective, the short term and long term objectives may incompatible because of certain specific problems. Then inflexibility. MBO represents danger of inflexible. Flexible but inflexible. We have two terms. Flexibility and inflexibility. Means rigid. So once the objective, particularly when the objectives need to be changed, when the objectives are changing, means, so you have, for example, you have an objective to reach. For example, I need to have a product to be released. Yes, I started implementing MBO. Later, because of certain decisions by the top management, the objective is changing. Whatever happens this? What about the fate of this? So objective changing of so can I make this MBO MBO to work for this? No, it, it cannot be because this objective has a different MBO guidelines and for this objective there are different guidelines. So how it could be flexible? So that is where the problem arises with MBO. And the final thing, it's a frustration. So it frustrates managers. It creates a frustration among managers. Why? Because they cannot adopt not able to implement MBO properly. When the implementation of MBO is not done properly, then definitely you cannot. So they can they it, MBO tends to high expectations for rapid changes, particularly in young and junior managers. 
but the rate is slow they feel frustrated with mbo so these are the some of the limitations of the mbo implementation in the business okay so i i hope you will you understood each and every point uh, according to